This video explains to you how to set up the web server from a Mitsubishi FX5U. Yeah, here you can see the very cool website that I created for you in order to show you on how to set up all these different items. And the first step will be on how to set up the uh, settings in the GX Works 3 in order to get the internet or the website to work. And let's go. First of all, we open the Melsoft GX Works 3 and make a new project and after we after we open a new project we'll go to uh, parameter and the uh, fx5u cpu parameter and then to the cpu parameter itself which will bring us to another window and here we will open mm, no i'm wrong excuse me go to the module parameter and then to the ethernet port that's the correct way in the ethernet port first you have to go to basic settings to the own node settings and put in your required ip address which will be in my case the one 92.168.2.50 with the subnet of 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 192.168.2.1 so this already sets up the IP address the IP address you should set to your desired uh, settings whichever you have in your network the next setting will be the one for the web server to activate a web server this is this you can find in the application settings under web server settings and then you'll see right here to use or not to use web server settings you switch that on to use and then the account settings the detail settings that means here you have to set a username this username needs to be registered with the appropriate settings well, I just put in my first name Gert and then you have to put a, in a password which is to your requirements push ok and then you're all set now you got set up the user and now you want to decide on whether the user can write or only read on the web page I make it to uh, write enable so I can show you everything that you need the authority is uh, for you can decide on whether you only use the system web page or you only use the user web page or you permit both displays in my case I make it also both displays and that sets up your user for accessing the web page press ok then you're all set on that and for the last requirement you need to set the settings for the FTP server for a file transfer protocol the FTP server is necessary to write the data that is created by the user web designer tool in order to put that on the SD card 
and this SD card you need to put into the uh, CPU, the FX5 CPU. The website will not work without a SD card. So you proceed the same way, use or not use, you want to use the FTP server, the login name, you can, uh, I put it to the same name like it is to the basic, to the basic uh, website and the password settings, the current password is FXCPU in capital letters and a new password I just put also the same password like it is to access the website then you need to confirm the password once that is done you can uh, check your parameters if there is an error you have to fix the error accordingly and apply this to your parameter settings and then click OK. Now you need to transfer these settings to the CPU. This you can do up here on this red arrow right to PLC which opens up a box where you can choose your required settings and also here just for the first time you need to select the user web page that selects all the required items that you need to select oops oh wrong button and then just push execute and if everything's correct oh okay I forgot to convert I forgot to convert the file so let's do that once takes a couple seconds and should be done anytime with zero errors now we can go back to the transfer settings, select the web page setup and execute. If this window shows up with all the messages, you can go through and read them. Um, on the first thing you got mismatch in system parameters, which of course is normal because you don't have any parameters in the CPU anyways, and all the other messages you can just read and basically go ahead and uh, confirm the settings. The download should start any minute, any second after the CPU is in stop and then you confirm it again. The remote password has also to be confirmed. No comments are selected and then off you go. After this is done, the CPU power needs to be cycled one time in order to get the right parameters active. So this needs to be done manually and in this way everything is ready to uh, start with the web page designer itself and this I will show you in another video. So that's it for the video on how to set up the web page in the Mitsubishi GX Works 3 and if you like the video give me a thumbs up and also subscribe my channel for any further videos and then see you bye.